Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for just taking the time out and watching the video, showing uh, support and actually telling me that you resonate with the video. So it's just very beautiful. We can all connect at the same time. And it's kind of exciting as well when we can have all the same experiences at different parts of the world so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you feel like you're comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i would love the chance for you to get to know me i mean get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video is very informative to you as well as you know gave you good vibes and you would love to share with the fellow uh empath or you know someone who really needs a positive insight please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you so much for stopping by the channel and um showing so much love and support and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today i'm listening to it's not raining out outside but i like the meditation where it has rain it's like eight eight hours of relaxing rain sleeping meditation studies in ricky spa calm insomnia uh, tenonitis, whatever that said, tenonitis, <laughs> uh, and I'll post that link in the description box below, and today my video is about Twin Flame 101, hey, Okas, when we're experiencing deja vu, you know, I was reading up on that, and it, I didn't know that that deja vus can consist of uh, seizures, because I had seizures back when I was like 20, what is it, 26, 27, and um, they lasted for like about six to seven months I was going through all these sleep studies all up on these medications and where everything you know tasted like dirt to me so I was dropping weight left and right and I was constantly having seizures where at the point my, my head was exploding felt like it was about to explode and all of a sudden they stopped and come to find out my dad used to have them when he was five so it was just really crazy that I you know I was able to experience that but, you know, uh, it was just really different for me because there's sometimes I catch myself, you know, daydreaming. And they told me sometimes when I when I just sit there and I just kind of zone out, they say those are mini seizures as well. But, you know, deja vu is like French for already been seen. So it's just like, you know, when we were on our journey, things seem like, God, I, why does it feel like I've done this before? Or when you met this person, it already felt like you met them. Um, and it's crazy because it's just like in different times, space and times. It's like the people I connect with, especially if I'm talking to them one on one. I'm just like, I remember when we used to do this and this and this and that from our other life. And it's just like really crazy. It's like certain eras of, of life I still remember. And it's crazy because the more I connect with people, the more my past lives start to come back and I start remembering things that I already done. Just like this situation I'm in, it is just like there's days. It, I don't know if y'all have ever felt that way. Y'all need to drop me a line and let me know if y'all felt that way. While you're on your journey, sometimes you have that aha moment. And then, you know, I just said that in the last video. But it's like this situation is like I already know how it's going to pan out, but my brain is just not caught up with it yet because it felt like I've done this before. Like I've, you know, like I've been watching a, a TV, like CCTV, you know, of my life. And I'm just like, oh, this is going to play out this way. This is going to play out that way. And it's like crazy. Like sometimes people, some people have asked me, oh, you need to read the Bible about this. I don't read the Bible. I don't. Um, I'm very, you know, I'm not against anybody with religious beliefs or anything like that, but I'm a spiritual person. But it's just the fact is when I read certain things of the Bible, I start reminiscing about things that have happened because I remember being in that life of the biblical sense. And it, it was like really crazy because I remember certain things that I've done. I re even remember, you know, when I used to read the Bible, I would have certain smells that would come back that would really creep me out. And my mom was like, what's wrong with you? I said, I don't like reading the Bible, mom. You know, and she's just like, 
you know, you need to learn about it. No, you know, but she just couldn't understand. It's not the fact that I didn't want to read it. I was there. So why do I have to read some of the stuff that they got up in there? It may, reminds me of things I want to forget. And I never could explain the reason why I remember certain things that happened in life. Like, you know, I, I remember certain things that happened, especially uh, I've seen Passion of the Christ. I only watched that movie one time. You couldn't pay me to watch that movie again, you know, because it was just it was too intense for me, you know, seeing God go through all, you know, Jesus or whatever you want to call him, you know, go all through all those things that set certain things that they put in there. It didn't happen. They, you know, this is a man-made situation. So they let you know what they wanted you to know. But it was like, when I seen certain things, I'm like, no, this is not how that went down, but I can't contradict something like that. You know? So it's just really crazy when we have these deja vu moments and it's just like, the more we, since like we've been activated and more things are starting to come to play. Like you might have visions of your past life. You might even see visions of your future. You know, um, arch, different archangels will come towards you just to help you, you know, get through sit certain situations. You call on one or one is already there. You know, you, you might not, you know, you might be thinking about it and all of a sudden you might hear an uh, archangel's name in your head. And you're like, why all of a sudden this coming up? You know, it, it, it just depends on whatever situation you're in. And it's just like crazy when we experience these, these deja vu situations. Like, I know I've been this way before. It's like a hiccup from one side of your brain to the next. So it's just like you're doing this, but the other part hasn't caught up with you yet, which is really crazy. Because there are certain times I will have a euphoric feeling. And I'm just like... This has happened before. I've, you know, or, you know, it looked like the glitch in the Matrix. You know what I'm saying? So when I see certain things like on, you know, the movie Matrix, I get what they were talking about. They were like, man, wait a minute. I just seen that cat. And they were like, whoa, wait a minute. What you mean? <laughs> you seen? He was like, well, this cat just did the same thing. Or I've seen certain movies where they, they seen certain things. Matter of fact, Happy, De uh, Happy Death Day. That's what it was. When she kept going through the same thing over and over again, she already knew what things were about to happen before they even happened. Other people weren't aware, but she was. She had to go through certain things just to find out who was doing what. And it's just like we're doing that on our day-to-day -day journey as well. There are certain it might be certain things you might experience that you already have been through before when we're excelling to a different level from 3D to 5D. And there's different di dimensions that we've been jumping from, from portal to portal. And you remember certain things that you already know you have to do or you, you're connecting with people and you're like, wait a minute, didn't we meet before? Or you're trying to place them in certain situations like you you know you feel comfortable with them or you there's something about them that seems very familiar to you so it's just like you know we're going through all these different situations we're connecting with one another we're all getting activated you know certain people are seeing you know when i can tell y'all this you're like oh yeah this is why this is happening i remember you know and it's just like all of us are connecting like we're a piece of, of a puzzle to something that is big happening so it's just like a lot of us are just getting these visions of things that has happened before or we're seeing things that you know are going on in our future and you're like oh okay i already knew this was going to happen and it's just like when i see certain things it's like but then it's like a part of my brain is supposed to like like cut that memory off because they still need me to learn other things it was like yeah you already know this but we can't have you know this yet because you need to get through this and this and that so you let me know you drop me a line and let me know if you've been feeling the same way about your certain situations and the journeys you've been on you know um knowing it can be annoying knowing you have to go through certain things but you have to get to certain things just to get to certain things so it's like you know universe will allow you to know like okay this is something you need to know basis but you know, we're not going to tell you the rest of it because if you do, you're not going to do it. You're not going to learn the lesson that we're trying to teach you in this certain situation. So, you know, allow, you know, let me know. Y'all drop me a comment and let me know if you've been experiencing a lot of deja vu lately. You know, we all been connecting a certain way and it's just funny. How I've been, especially when I talked about Archangel Michael and all of a sudden y'all talking about y'all have done rituals or you, you know, you're, you're meditating to release a lot of things and all of us, I'm like, God, dog, Archangel Michael has been a busy bee with a whole lot of folks, you know, and it's just like when we're releasing a lot of things, 
a lot of our angels are coming in and helping us assist us with all these issues and knowing, you know, we can call on them when we go through certain situations. Or, you know, we can call on them anytime. You know, it's all about free will, but you have to be able to, the only time I feel like they will, you know, come through and do things without asking if it's a life and death situation. Because if it's not time for you to come, they're going to, you know, they're going to automatically intervene with that. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. I'll love a chance to hear from you. And, you know, let me know your part if, you, if you've been experiencing any deja vu lately. Um, my um, shout out goes to uh, Treasure Seasons. Manjoy Narda, uh, Narda, I think that's how you pronounce the name, Tracy Borton, Bear and Rainbow, much love to y'all, and know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and I will keep y'all in my prayers, and I'll see you on my next video, much love, peace, and be wild.